Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to talk to you about how I use Dynalist as my CRM, Customer Relationship Management System. If you own a business of any kind, you need a CRM where you're interacting with your we are customers, your clients, and uh, for me, I own a music lessons business where we have a bunch of teachers and clients, and it's absolutely impossible to uh, keep track of everything unless I have some sort of CRM. I've gone through several different iterations of using different uh, uh, pieces of software and stuff like that, but I've found that Dynalist is by far the most flexible and works best for me. So I kind of duplicated what I uh, have here, what I use, uh, some of the features, basically how I organize everything. Um, I took out all of the names and just kind of made a replica here of the kind of thing that I do. Um, so you'll be able to see how this all works. Uh, here's some of the main features that I use. I use hashtags, the date feature, the search feature, which is over here, um, colors, uh, you can see colors here, uh, heading sizes like this, uh, there you go, you can have all different heading sizes, uh, strike throughs, which is control enter when you no longer need that person, of course there's undo, which is nice, um, and minimize and expand, which is this. So. Those are some of the main features that I use. So let me go into detail about how I organize everything. So uh, let's say I go into uh, this note here. You can have different notes on the side. Uh, I will show you my bookmarks because there's nothing personal in there. Um, so you can also bookmark things. I don't even have that listed, but that's a cool feature. Uh, of course, there you can refer to other things, get link, um, so then you can just... There's so much. I, I can't go through everything. I'm not going to go through everything, but here's the basic stuff. Uh, Dynalist is incredibly flexible, dynamic. That's where the word, uh, why they had called it Dynalist, dynamic list. Um, but you can go over here and you can see uh, the help section, shortcuts and formatting, and you can see some of the main features there. So if you want, if you have any specific questions, here is where it is answered. I enter in my client's first name and then my client's last name in here. Then I use the hashtag client. Uh, you can also use at symbols and stuff like that. Anything that's just unique and then you, you'll be able to search that very easily. Um, so if I just want to see the clients, hashtag client, and then it hides the ones that are not clients. Um, and then of course, any search, you can uh, bookmark that as well. So if I want to bookmark this search, right there, boom. And I can rename it whatever I want. And then wherever I am in Dynalist, I just click that and it brings me right here. Uh, so I can do the same thing with teacher if I wanted to, just so I have my teachers, all my teachers. You can search it, but then I could also bookmark it. And there's my teachers and just my clients. Really cool. So you can also do all sorts of things. Um, I believe you can also do, uh, a main thing that I do is I wanna see what's overdue and today. So if you type in within colon today or within the last 99 days, then I'll see everything that's today. Uh, and I won't see things that are in the future. So you can change the um, the date very easily like that. So let's research this. Need to navigate away and then come back uh, in order for it to update. So now I don't see the things that are overdue. You see, I just see the today stuff. And then if I get rid of that, I'm back to everything again, which is nice. All right, so that's how you use uh, some of the date features there. Anyway, underneath, here's how I organize my interactions with the clients. I use a couple different pieces of software for texting and emailing. Emailing, I just use uh, Gmail. Uh, and texting, I use Google Voice. Uh, but obviously, those don't integrate perfectly with everything else. Um, you, you could pay a hefty sum of money in order to have things like that integrate perfectly. But Dynalist is like, what's it, 20 bucks? Or I, I, don't, I don't even remember how much it is. It's cheap. It's very cheap. Um, so you can just use Dynalist and make your own. 
I do need to copy and paste what happens, but it's really fast. Uh, I, I just use different tabs and just switch back and forth, copy, paste, um, put it in there. Um, so I just paste in what the client said, and then I will just write email from client, email from their name, usually just their first name, because obviously it's underneath their full I put, put everything under everything that has to do with this client underneath here. If they fill out a registration form, I put it in. If I have something else I need to follow up with, I will just write follow up with client F with their name. And then I will just make it a certain color. I use purple for when I need to follow up. Uh, anyway, then I will write my response. I, if I sent the email to the client, um, I'll just write that right there. If I if it's just a draft, I'm going to come back to it. And that's how I do it every single day. I write drafts. Kay and I write our drafts to our clients. And then we just put it green if it's ready to send. If we want to check it out again, we will use yellow, the red, yellow, green. If it's absolutely terrible, if it's just like if it's not ready yet, I will just use I pass it again. Red. Of course, I, I just use keyboard shortcuts because they're faster usually but all everything's right here too so that's how i if it's like terrible if this is just like if i don't have time to actually my, write my response i will just write like yes but it's not ready to send it's just i'll come back to this the answer is yes so i'll write that anyway i also use timestamps so timestamps i i use win automation for like everything Win automation is a really cool piece of software, but most of you guys won't need something like that. So find, I believe it's auto hotkey and things like that are pretty sim, uh, simple pieces of software that you can write timestamps. So I'll just write down, uh, I'll, I just use control shift D and that immediately launches the timestamp uh, software. So then it just writes in a timestamp. Now that's not a feature of Dynalist, uh, but you could also, if you really want to, this is a subheading, by the way. Um, so whenever you're on a line, if you hold shift and hit enter, then you are then you have your subheading. And you could just write the date in manually, which today is 128, 126. And if you want to write the time, then you can write in the time as well. I mean, that's not hard, but I just use a timestamp. Uh, software. So there you go. Uh, so that makes it really fast. And then that client's done. Uh, then you can move on to the next client. This one's not due today, so I don't really need to do that one. But let's uh, let's go into it. If you hit control shift period, then it just opens or closes everything. And so this is an email that's from the client, but I just made it purple. Why did I make it purple? Because that tells me uh, that's what needs to be responded to. I haven't gotten back to that yet. Um, so I just made it purple. Um, you can choose whatever colors and whatever kind of system you want, but this is the way that I do it. Uh, so then I can get back to them. So I'll just write draft email to client two, and then I will timestamp it. And then I will start writing my email to them. Uh, now, this is obviously not done yet. So in my system, I would make that red. And I'll get back to them. Um, so then let's check out what's going on with this one. Uh, SMS from the teacher, draft SMS to the teacher. Once I send it, then I will write sent. And then that's it. And then I will just move the date forward. So I just uh, click on the date. And I'll just move it forward there. So there you go. Or whenever you think you need to follow up with them. If they get back to me sooner, then I can just search. So let's say it's not in the view today, but they got back to me. And I know I have a card for them or a whatever you want to call it. I know I have a list for them. Um, so I will search in teacher F. It's not showing. So let me just do teacher. Hashtag teacher. There we go. Yeah, maybe I just spelled it wrong. But there it is. Um, and so then I can just go back. They got back to me. So SMS from teacher. And then paste in whatever they whatever the text was. So I'll copy and paste that in. And just so I don't lose it, I'll just put it on today.
So that is most of what I do. That's that's basically my system. Another feature that I might want, let's say that this teacher was working with client two, okay? And something here that they said refers to the teacher. So I will just highlight this and I will just say, get link, got the link. Now I'll go into this teacher's thing here, just paste that link, boom. So right there, I can refer to that. So even when I'm just zoomed in on this teacher here, uh, I can just be like, oh, what's this? Takes me straight to it. And then you can just go back. We could use the back and forward navigation things on your browser, or I just use alt left and alt right because I'm, I'm big into keyboard shortcuts. Um, just makes my workflow much faster. Let's see if there's any other features that I didn't, oh, strike through, okay. So I already kind of showed you the minimize and maximize and stuff, but let's say this teacher is done. I, I, there's nothing new that's going on with them. Let's say they're all set up or maybe they're fired or something. Control enter, they're gone, they're out from view. But I can just enable, show the strikeout, sh show the checked off items, then that's gone. Uh, and also with, it, this, that's the same as actually making a checklist. Um, so let's say in here, for example, because you can also do checklists. You can do all the cool Dynalist features. Uh, next steps, I could just do something like that and be like, uh, call them and just do Control Shift C. That makes it a checklist item. Uh, then if they are angry, send them flowers. <laughs> I don't know how you run your business. That's not how I run my business, but. That's actually a good idea. Um, so then you can do, oh, I called them. It's all fine. So that's all checked off. So uh, with Dynalist, it's just so flexible, incredibly flexible. It's just such a cool piece of software. And so if you want, if you're looking into a simple CRM system that is just a way for you to know when to follow up with who, what to do, this is amazing. Now, my real, uh, I call it my pipeline. You can see my pipeline over here. My real pipeline, it's huge. It's absolutely enormous, but I'm never lost in it. I can always search and find what's going on. Um, so using Dynalist as my CRM is one of the best moves that we've made in the business. It's really made our workflow so quick. Before this, we used Trello, and we did a very similar thing in Trello, but Dynalist was, it's just so much easier. All of the things that we did in Trello, um, we, we could do all the same basic things, but this is so much more simple. Um, I love the cross out feature. It's just gone. Or I could just do this. Let's say that it gets really long. Archive. This is the archive. Uh, so this is no longer necessary. So I'm just gonna drag that under the archive. Just put that right in there and then minimize it. Never need to look at that again. But if I, so there's a, let's say there's a bunch of things up here, but I need to go back to the archive. What did they say again? Oh yeah, that's right. That's what they said. Boom, done. Um, I really recommend that you check it out. There will be a link in the description. So then you can uh, go over to Dynalist and see if you like it. Um, it's fun. It's really fun. So. Give it a shot, and I think that you'll enjoy it. All right, thanks. Talk to you later.